Welcome to Sanctuary. This game is described as a short mood piece slash walking simulator by its creator, Connor Sherlock. As always, if you'd like to play this game for yourself, you'll find some more information in the description. Let's enter and begin. It's almost as if I've just come from this thing. Given that I just kind of spawned into this world right underneath it. I wonder if it's a teleporter or some sort of a, a vessel. The sky is so intense. You can hear the birds singing as if it's... I don't know, the birds are singing as if everything's fine, but it looks like there's a huge storm that's about to happen. Actually, it's that kind of weather that feels like it's <laughs> like the apocalypse or something. The end of the world. Whatever's over there, it looks very strange, very spiky, very tall. Sounds like the music is actually coming from that building over there. Let's see if this path leads to the building. If not, then I'm just gonna cut straight over there and go go check it out. No, this seems to lead further away. Well, forget the path then. I'm gonna go check out the music. Pretty flowers. seems like some sort of a portal. I'm scared to touch it, though. Let's see what else is around here. Uh, oh, what are those cubes? Okay, I seem to be floating, actually. It's like I'm on a floating island. Surrounded by massive cubes. It looks like there's a thunderstorm almost. Like that cube down there is flashing. Should I explore the rest of the island or should I touch this over here? I'm gonna touch this and see what happens. It's actually not a portal. It's just a wall, but it seems like the music's coming from inside. Let 
me see if I can get around to the other side of the building. It's definitely coming from in there. No, there's no other entrance. Okay, let's explore the rest of this, uh, this island. I see something right there, like on the very tip of this island, over there. Something that looks like it's not a tree, but something else. So I think I'm gonna hug the side here. I'm gonna go around the outskirts of the island. Go around the, uh, the rim. for the first time. Yeah, it really feels like the, the world is ending. The wind is getting louder. This music sounds a little bit more upbeat. Groovy. I like it. different what just happened oh my god the music stopped the sky turned red is the world ending right now I feel like something very bad just happened this um this like black obelisk it seems like the same sort of material of the the crystal or whatever thing that was above me when I first appeared here fell off. Jesus, that sky. That sky is terrifying. Whoa, I see a bridge over there. Yeah, there's a bridge over there. So bright. The ground burns my eyes. And now it's so quiet. I can still hear the birds a little bit, but just a little bit.
there I look down. Looks like there's another structure over here to the right. What am I standing on? This is... It's all smooth. There's, there's no vegetation at all. Nothing. Is it stone? It doesn't look... natural. from this structure here, it's coming from something over there. What's inside of here? Can I even see? It's so dark. I don't even know how to get inside. I might be able to jump up here, uh, not quite. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you're supposed to be in here. It's so hard to see. Can I get to the upper floor? Man, I can't see anything. Nah, I can't get there. What am I doing by getting near these these obelisks? Because I'm doing it. I'm doing something. Am I doing something bad? Am I doing something good? I'm stopping the music and I'm changing the color of the sky. Now what? Find the next one? God, I can't see anything though. I think I see a tower over that way.
I can't even really see the ground. All I can see are silhouettes against the sky. I don't even know where I'm going. I might just fall off the edge at any moment. I, I really can't even see. I really can't see. This is very uncomfortable. I really don't want to fall off the edge. See if I look that way, but not this way. Okay, I see a spike. Oh, that looks like uh, the source, the same sort of thing where I, that I came in on or came in under. Is that maybe my ticket out of here? Hold on. Before I go over there, what, what is this? Just a fallen tower? Take me to the top. Oh my god, I'm actually on the tip of this tower. Well, usually you can see more by going to the top of something, but in this case, no. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be my ticket out of here. It's going to take me away or something. Or perhaps... It's going to do nothing. But this is the exact sort of platform where I first appeared. Am I missing the next obelisk? It's really hard to see anything, so it's hard to know. I don't see any other land masses, like any other bridges that connect to somewhere else. Um, I think I'm going to jump and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, it looks like I've appeared again near the... The sanctuary? I guess this is the sanctuary. A place that plays calming music. Perhaps I have to return here. Perhaps I have to return all the way back to where I first came into this world from?
I don't know. Maybe there was an obelisk I missed somewhere over here. You know, there were three lights, right? Three lights above this thing? <gasps> yeah. Okay, so I need one more obelisk. That's what that last light means. I need one more obelisk, and then I need to come back here. So I'm missing one obelisk. Okay. Where? Where, where, where? Let's try, like, the other side of this island here. I probably missed one, like, really close to where you first come in. I probably missed it. Because I didn't really follow the path. I don't like following paths. I'm really bad at following paths. At least I can actually see stuff over here. That's nice. Looking for obelisks silhouetted against the sky. Yeah, there's definitely something over here. If this path leads here, there's gotta be something. Yep, there's the third obelisk. What color is the sky gonna turn now? Can't be any worse than red, right? Okay, pink. I'll take it. I like pink. Now, for the sake of getting to the sanctuary faster, I'm gonna do this. Wee! <coughs> Wee! There we go. Alright, so I came here at what seems to be either like a teleportation point or in some sort of a vessel. I arrived, I touched or got near three obelisks, which changed the world somehow. Oh god, that's what's inside of here? A cube? seem to be it. I'm assuming clicking leave just shuts down the game? Yes, it does. Well, let's just bring the game back up for the sake of uh, having something in the background here. 
so that has been Sanctuary. I wonder who I was and whether I was doing anything good. So it seems like I arrived in some sort of a vessel or through teleportation or something like that. To an old... to a seemingly old place that seemed kind of broken. It didn't look like any of the buildings had been maintained. It seemed like I was... No, actually, I was definitely on some sort of a floating island, surrounded by, like, a, a maelstrom of cubes. It looked like there were, like, uh, lightning on or around the cubes. It seemed stormy. And there were three obelisks I had to touch, or get near, to activate, or, or to turn them off, I guess. I guess I was turning them off, right? Like, kind of soothing, sort of upbeat music was coming from them and I turned them off. I killed them. And then the sky changed color. What were those... those obelisks? You know what? All the obelisks were on the outskirts, right? None of the obelisks were on the inside. They were all on the outskirts, which is where the cubes are. On the outskirts. They're all around. And I turned them off. Does that mean... Does that mean maybe the, the obelisks and the music were a sort of ward against the cubes? Whatever entities, or or whatever the cubes are. Perhaps they're being kept at bay by the obelisks, and I was sent in to turn them off? The more I think about it, the more that seems likely. Because I was turning them off. And they were on the outskirts, as if they were meant as a protection or something. Hmm. Well, I think the game is too abstract to uh, be able to say anything concrete about the story, but... My interpretation is, is that, is that I was sent in... I was sent in on a vessel or teleportation or something like that to turn off the protection against those entities. But then... But then why was there a cube already in the center, hidden behind the... the thing, whatever, whatever it was that I unlocked? If it was to ward against the cubes, having those on, then how did that cube get into the center in the first place? You know what? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. But yeah, that has been Sanctuary. It was really pretty. Very strange, very abstract, but very pretty. And... I really like the sound design. Especially the music. And the eerie way wind and stuff would suddenly come in and then suddenly disappear, and there'd be almost no noise at all. Usually the absence of noise is not really a good thing for a game, but in this case it felt like it was on purpose. Those eerie moments of almost complete silence. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that. So, I hope you enjoyed it as well, and thank you for watching.